In the previous episode, Mars Guy showed evidence that Kodiak Mesa is a remnant of the Delta deposit in Jezero Crater. This essentially proves a well-established hypothesis that the Delta was much larger before erosion. So it looks like the Perseverance rover landed on rocks that could have formed in ancient Lake Jezero. But not so fast. Mars Guy has showed evidence of rocks on the floor of Jezero that could have formed from volcanic activity. Some of the rocks around here have holes in them, just like this sample of basaltic lava from Hawaii. In lava, they're called vesicles, and they're made by gas bubbles. But holes alone are not proof of lava. The composition of the rocks has to be measured, and Perseverance can do that. The view from orbit also shows possible evidence for lava flows. There are places where the darker terrain has strange curving or lobe-shaped edges. Geologists would describe these as lobate margins, and they're a common feature of lava flows. Here's an example on Earth from Craters of the Moon National Monument in the U.S. state of Idaho. The lobate margins form anywhere that lava encounters hills or other raised terrain that can block the flow. At Jezero Crater, there's even evidence of a huge volcano on its rim that perhaps could have supplied lava to the crater floor. This mountain is about two kilometers high and has an irregular shaped depression on its flank that makes it look like some stratovolcanoes on Earth. But so far, there's no more evidence than just its shape, its morphology. It may just be eroded terrain with an oddly shaped impact crater. At the rover landing site, the bedrock is fractured in a way that isn't typical of lava flows. These fractures, known as jointing, are more typical of sedimentary rocks, like maybe produced in ancient Lake Jezero. But volcanic ash deposits, known as welded tuff, that's T-U-F-F, -F, and yes, it's for real, they commonly show jointing very similar to what is seen in Jezero. This example is from the Central Andes in Bolivia. So it's a good thing there's a rover on the ground and a helicopter in the air at Jezero Crater to help settle the lake versus volcanic origin of the rocks there. In the coming days, SALS that is, Perseverance will finally begin to use all the tools it brought in its toolbox if the rocks turn out to be lake sediments, then this is a good place to start the search for ancient life on Mars.